everybody, I'm Jerry Paul and I'm an indie author and welcome back to my channel. I write young adult fiction across a variety of genres and if you think that might interest you then think about subscribing below. Today we're going to be talking about cover reveals. I've done several cover reveals on this channel and throughout my publishing journey but I thought that I would go over the basics and what a cover reveal could do for you. So number one, what is a cover reveal? A cover reveal is just as it sounds. You have the cover for your upcoming book and you choose to reveal it on a certain platform on a certain date. The idea behind it is growing hype and suspense so that your readers are itching to see what the cover looks like and the release date of the book. Traditional and indie authors both do this, though usually traditional have more contacts and it's done by a big site rather than the individual author themselves arranging it. I can't speak for how it's done in the traditional world, but for me, it's always been something I do once I can confirm the release date and share it with the world. I will tease the cover reveal long before it's ready and will provide little sneak peeks before the big day, building up, as I said, the hype the, for the book itself. Usually it's done with a pre-order. In my case, I announce the pre-order, the swag and the release date along with the cover itself. It doesn't have to be on YouTube, you can do it on a website, on blogs, on social media, etc. and take it from there. You can also ask for other people to post the cover on their social media to spread it across the internet. Number two, how do you go about it? The how is very much up to you. Personally, I have been using Gift Girl for a number of years. I send her the cover and the release date and she'll make a little reveal gift slash video that she sends on to me and then I put it in my own video. But you can also contact bloggers or release on Instagram or other social media. I know that there are a number of good sites for the graphics, being Canva and Bookbrush. Both do a good job at making sure the reveal itself looks very professional. If you want to have bloggers and such who help you with it on the big day, you can set up a Google form and reach out through contacts or just talking about it on your own platforms and asking anyone interested to help. You can, if you want, hire a PR company or the like to do the cover reveal on your behalf. They will usually have access to a lot more bloggers and the like, which should hopefully extend your reach. The idea is for as many people you, to see the cover as possible. You want people to see it and notice it and you want people to pre-order it. Personally, I also make sure that I also include the pre-order links and such because this is the moment when people might be thinking, love the cover, when can I have it? And letting them be able to click right there and then is a great way to make sales. I've seen people do book trailers to release the cover and that when done well can be a very good way to do it. I've seen people release a square of it a day before they finally reveal the full cover later on. There are so many different ways to go about it and you're really only limited by your imagination and tools. Number three, any tips? Like I said, I would very much recommend having the pre-order link and such ready. This is coming from me, who's not a big name author, so for a lot of people it's them seeing the cover that makes them want to buy, and if they did not have the link yet, that could be losing sales. If you have a massive platform, then it's less of a problem because people will be happy to look it up themselves, especially if it's not yet readily available for pre-order, which is something I know some traditional authors have to deal with. I would also say that you want to make sure whatever graphic and such you use, that it looks good. Knocking something together in paint just attracts from the cover itself. Make sure you use a good background, one that ties with the story itself as possible. And use sites like Canva, which is mostly free, or Bookbush, which isn't all in itself that expensive. Overall, make the reveal match your brand and go from there. It's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. Number four, does it help? I would say that yes it does. I didn't always do cover reveals long before I had this channel and such. It wasn't something that I was aware of and I didn't really see the point. However, since then my audience has grown. I've learned a lot about the publishing process and I will say that for me, it helps. A lot of it's always gonna depend on the size of your audience and where you choose to reveal your cover. Like I prefer YouTube because I find it's all the more exciting but I also post on Twitter and the like so that all my audience gets to see it. It's one of those things that helps me and it might help you, but at the end of the day, it's completely up to you whether you go forward this or not. So there we go. Those are my tips and questions about cover reveals and why I do them, whether I think they help or not, and how to go about doing them. If you have any questions for me about cover reveals, let me know in the comments down below. So that's all I've got time for today. If you want to support my channel, you can comment, like, or subscribe. I post new videos on Thursdays. You can find me all over social media and my books are available everywhere. And don't forget to pick up Lights Off, which is a young adult dystopian and the third in the Lights Out trilogy. 
and also don't forget to grab a ticket for author city in birmingham in july 2022 where i'll be signing books all the links for which are listed below thanks for watching and remember to keep writing bye